everyone. I'm Natalie Forte. And I'm Justin Walter. And welcome to another fun episode of Get, Get Out. Out. Justin, you look so dapper today. You are always complimenting me on the show, so thank you, Natalie. Well, you always look so darn <laughs> cute. I can't help it. Jake. I actually think it's a vacation glow because I just got back from Southeast Asia. No, you did not. Awesome trip. Where did you go? I went to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and I think we need to do Get Out Southeast Asia. Done. Yes. <laughs> City TV, will you fund that for please, us? Please, please. Awesome. Oh, my God. Well, what are you up to today, Natalie? Well, Justin, I think I'm going to do what I do best. Eat. Eat. There are so many places to eat in Santa Monica, but I keep hearing about this new spot right by the promenade called Z Garden. It's Mediterranean, it's healthy, and you're going to love it. I'm here with Shadi, the co-owner of Z Garden. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, yeah. Good, well, I have to tell you, I walked in, absolutely beautiful in here. There's such a cozy vibe. I could tell I would just want to plant here and eat all your food, just so you know. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you like it, it's all organic style. So. It is? Yeah. Oh, fabulous. So tell me what you guys are all about. I know there's a few Mediterranean restaurants around, but I want to hear your concept. Uh, our concept, we, it's been a while we're thinking about this concept. Uh, we're trying to do something Mediterranean. Yeah. We have a Lebanese kitchen. Okay. All uh, about kebab, hummus, falafel, oh. and the garlic sauce, of course. My brother-in-law, he was a uh, he was a chef uh, for the Prince of Saudi. What? No big deal there. Jeez, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he was cooking for him for about six, seven years. Wow. One of the prince and. Uh, and that will do the rest on Mediterranean. So he knows what he's doing, let's just say. He knows what he's doing in the kitchen. Okay, so what are some of your specialty dishes? Okay, special dishes we have veggie kombu, for example, has hummus, baba ganoush, tabbouleh salad, grape leaves, falafel, oh. and tahini sauce and pita bread. And Sold. we have the chicken kebab, chicken breast, charboiled chicken, mm. marinated. And we have cilantro chicken, really good. And we, have, we sell a lot of lamb, you know, lamb shank, yeah. Very popular sandal, and we have lamb chops. Wow. French cut. Oh, is that what I'm going to make in the kitchen? That's the one I'm going to show you exactly. Let's go. All right. The kitchen Let's do it. All right. Let's get to work. All right, Natalie, you ready to do the lamb chops? I am. All right. Put me to work. All right. This is lamb chop, French cut. Wow. And we're going to take it and put it on the grill. Okay. Three. There All right. Oh my gosh, this place, the lunch rush just started. I think I better get out of the way. I lost my teacher. I'm totally in the way. I'm just gonna go sit and eat. Okay, you weren't kidding. This place was packed. It yeah. still is. I had to get out of the kitchen. I know, I'm sorry. No, don't be can... sorry. I'm glad you're so popular. It's great. Thank you, thank you. So what do we have here? Lamb. Lamb shank. Lamb shank. Lamb chop. That I started with. Fish. And vegetarian combo. Looks unbelievable. I'm gonna start here. And I want people to know where you're located and your website if they want more information. Uh, we are two locations. The main yep. one is on Pico in Cloverfield, 2350 Pico Boulevard. Oh my gosh, sorry. Unbelievable. Keep going, I'm sorry, right. you're two locations. And, uh, we have two locations, yeah, 2350 Pico and the second one, 313 Wilshire, right by the promenade. We do a lot of carry out because it would take a little time to cook. It's about 10, 15 minutes, so. That's okay, because it's fresh. To go, yeah. Better to call. So. Unbelievable. And ZGardenSantaMonica.com. ZGardenSantaMonica.com. Right? You can order online, pick up, or delivery. All the catering. Sounds amazing. Eat up too. Enjoy. You've been working hard. Right. He needs to take a there break. We go. Thank you so much. This is Anytime. so fun. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Well, you didn't get to go to Thailand, but you did visit the Mediterranean. I did. It was so good. You have to it try that delicious. place. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's good. So, what are you going to do? I think I'm going to express my creative side. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Paint Lab has been a staple in Santa Monica for over five years. And they just recently moved to a new location at Broadway and 14th. Now, I do not have a creative bone in my body, but I hear they have awesome workshops to help someone like me become artistic. So let's check out the new space and get on inside. Joining me now is Lisa, who is the manager of Paint Lab. So thank you for joining us. Hi, nice to meet you, Justin. Thanks now, for coming. You're welcome. I love the new studio. Thank you. This is great. It's so bright. Thank you. Yes, it is. We love it. It's perfect for painting. And you guys were originally on Main Street, right? We were. We moved here a couple of months ago. Great. So Paint Lab is a very unique paint center. So can you tell us a little bit about the offerings you guys have here? Absolutely. We're an open art studio, so people can come in anytime to paint. We're open seven days a week, children and adults. 
and then we also offer workshops for children and adults throughout Great. the whole week. Our workshops are split into the medium that somebody would like to work in. Okay. So we have, for instance, we have oil painting workshops, acrylic, photo transfer, and any of those workshops, they can jump in at any point, and we have a lot of students that then stay with us wow. for months on end, which is wonderful. Well, I'm not very artistic, but one of the workshops that kind of stuck out for me was the photo transfer one. Yeah, great so, workshop. I went on a trip recently. I pr okay. Can I print out a picture and then make a painting out of it? Absolutely, absolutely. And just to mention as well, that's great for our guests as well. If they're here visiting yes. and they want a memento from Santa Monica, they can print out a picture that they've I taken on that. their vacation and they can make a piece of art out Go of it. Go to the beach, the Ferris wheel, take a picture and then come make a painting. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Well, I'm so, ready to sign up for the workshop. Fantastic. Let's, let's, well, let's get you started. We have a great instructor. His name's Jared. Okay. And he will guide you today through a photo transfer workshop. Yes. See what happens. So here is a picture I just took from a trip I went to in Southeast Asia. And this is what I want to turn into a painting. So I'm really excited to get started on this workshop. So I'm ready to begin. Yeah, and here it is. All so, right, uh, Jared, so you guys basically take any picture someone wants to send in. Exactly, you just email it. us what you're looking to print out and okay. then we print it for you. Just simple inkjet, nothing yeah. too fancy. And then uh, we'll walk you through the process. All now. right, let's do it. Let's yeah. start, what's the process? Is this it? I am so impressed. Yeah. I First did it. First time, you guys. First time. So it might take up to an hour to dry completely, and it'll look as clear as when you printed it. Yeah, it's this pretty is amazing. I love this. I'm glad you like it. Well, you're an amazing teacher, and you guys offer classes like this all the time. We do. Right? We have a whole range of classes, and we have a calendar available on right. our website. So what is the website? If the website's www.paintlab.net, okay. and our official address here is 1453 14th Street in Santa Monica. Monica, California. You guys made someone who is not an artist feel like an artist, so thank you so much. Our pleasure. Hope to see you soon. I will definitely be back. Great. Justin, that is so cool. You're going to have this forever. I loved doing this workshop. Yeah. I'm definitely going to go back and do more paintings like this. Absolutely. Great for gifts, too. Yeah, and it makes you look like a real artist when you're not. You're not. I'm not, for sure. I don't know about you guys. So what do you have to do next, Emily? Well, I've had a bit of a stressful week, Yes. so I think I'm just going to go get some fresh air. We call the show Get Out, and that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to check out Santa Monica's newest park. You guys are going to love it. Let's go. I'm here with Karen, the Director of Community and Cultural Services for the city. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, thank you for coming to Tongva Park. I've been so excited for this park to open. I think a lot of us have seen it under construction, and it's finally here, so we're very excited. Mm -hmm. Now, there are so many beautiful parks in Santa Monica. Most of us have been to them. What makes this one unique? Well, um, it is a connector to the downtown and um, Palisades Park and the ocean. Yeah. It's on six acres. The topography has been um, modeled, and so there are hills and valleys. What, uh, how has the community been responding to this park? I'm assuming they're thrilled. It's been extremely positive. Yeah. We're, we're so excited to hear from community members um, that seem to be exploring it and enjoying it and yeah. hearing their voices when we walk through the park and listening to what they have to say. People are really excited. The playground is filled every single day. Oh, I have no doubt. Absolutely. Okay, great. Well, I know there's a few sections that are called hills here. Yes. And do you mind showing me so we can go explore the, the whole park? Sure, I'd love to show you right. the hills. Let's do it. Okay, Karen, this is beautiful. It's so open, I love it. Yes, we're heading over to Gathering Hill, Ooh. which is our big sort of amphitheater lawn area. Okay. Um, it's uh, designed to accommodate about 350 people. Okay, so 350 people. I mean, it definitely looks like an amphitheater. And now at night, are you guys gonna do any performances? We're thinking or? about it, yeah. Oh. We have lighting and the capability of adding more lighting. Oh. Um, so we can wow. set up a stage and, and actually have uh, uh, a program. We're up at Observation Hill with our commanding views of the ocean, Palisades Park, the pier, the Ferris wheel. Wow, you can see so much. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. Now, how high up are we? We're 18 feet off the ground. Okay. Perfect place to observe the beautiful city of Santa Monica, right? Absolutely. 
Okay, this has to be Discovery Hill. This is Discovery Hill, the children's play area with the slides and a musical wall and little pods to climb in. Oh, and man. it's just a blast. They must love it, right? They do, they oh, do. Cool. All right, where to next? We have one more spot, right? Now we're going to Garden Hill, the last hill in the park. Perfect, let's do it. So now we're in uh, the picnic area of Garden Hill. Oh, and um, Garden Hill is really filled with all kinds of native and locally adapted plants and people should come and explore it different days of the year because new plant material pops up all the time. Oh, so cool. Man, a lot of thought went into this park and it's executed perfectly, I have to say. Thank it's you. so much fun. Thank you for giving me a tour. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, if people want more info, where can they go? They can go to tongvapark.squarespace.com. Perfect. And the, at 6 to 11, the park's open? 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., seven days a week. Perfect. Can't beat that. All right. Thanks, Karen. I had so much fun. But let's, let's take a load off and just relax a little. We've been walking a lot, right? Yeah, sounds good. <sighs> They really put a lot of work into that park. They did. It was so fun wow. there. It's beautiful. You have to go like have a little picnic or something Done. fun. Done. So what are you up to? Well, I think I'm going to go get some treats. Ooh, I love treats. Los Angeles is full of so many frozen yogurt and dessert shops. Well, if you're in Santa Monica and you're looking for somewhere with great ingredients and delicious frozen yogurts, a cool community vibe, and the best owner in town, well, then you got to treat yourself to treats. Joining me now is Amy, who is the owner of Treats, so thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming. So you guys have a unique story with your, your location, so tell us a little bit about the background. Um, well, we live in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and we really, really wanted to create a place that for the community. Okay. You'll see after school finishes, the kids dump in. It's really fun and we really try to stay very connected and involved, particularly with the schools. We're very close to a lot of elementary schools and preschools. We do a lot of donating. We do parties. Um, it's a so fun environment. Fun. There are so many yogurt chains out there. What's different about this location? I would say what's different about Treats is that we very specifically did not want to be a chain. Okay. We didn't want to be hamstrung by what we could or couldn't sell. Mm -hmm. We very much wanted to have um, a product that was free of hormones and antibiotics, okay. free of aspartame, free of a lot of the things that you don't want in your dairy. So it's very healthy. It's healthy. And it tastes good. <laughs> and really yummy. <laughs> well, I'm ready to have some fun uh, making something back behind the kitchen. Is that OK? Yes. yes. Let's do it. All right, what are we going to cook up here? You are going to make our homemade waffle cone. All right. Take a full scoop. Okay. And just carry this with you and just dump it right in the middle there. Okay. And Easy that's enough. Perfect. Easy perfect. enough. Perfect. And you're going to pull the top down. Excellent. Everything smells delicious back Close here, it by on the in way. There. Okay. Perfect. And now set the timer. Timer. Start. Yep. Go. Go ahead. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Yes. No. Okay, when you hold the waffle, it'll help you. You can help it. And there, there you there. go. Ah, that's great. Yes! Oh, you did a great yes. job! Yes! <laughs> Would you hire me here? Without question. Without question. I made my waffle cone. Now, the best part is going to be filling it up, right? How's it look? You're hired. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm ready to eat this baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amy, Natalie is going to be jealous because she always does the food segments. This was awesome. Everybody here loves coming here, and I, I'm going to be coming here all the time. All right. <laughs> so Thank where can you. someone come? Where's the address? How do you get here? Treats, frozen yogurt, and ice bar. Okay. We're at um, 1700 Ocean Park Boulevard. We have a Facebook page, Treats, Frozen Yogurt, Great. and Ice Bar. Love it. And. Um, we are open from 11, almost 11 to 11 almost every Great. day. Well, let me just tell you, this has been such a treat. Thank you. Get it? <laughs> um, that place looked incredible. Delicious. Why did you not bring Natalie, me? Natalie, I wish you could have been there. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. Me too, Justin. Me too. Mm -hmm. You got something um, in your eye over there? Uh, just, just a little mascara. Okay. You know how it is, right? right? Okay. Anyway, guys, unfortunately, we are out of time, but thank you so much for joining us for another fun episode of Get, get Out. Or Get Out, my little ah. treat. <laughs>